There's water in it? I don't think it likes water that much. If we call it the gem in water, we'll upset the clock. I had a few as a kid, but whenever I tried to hide them, a fish or sea turtle would find it when they passed by. So, when I went back to it the next day, the chest was already gone. I had to get a new one every time. I don't remember when, but at some point, I had like more chests than actual treasures. <laughs> next time someone asks me to draw a scene from a fairy tale, I'll use that. Thanks, cutie. I feel like I used to collect this kind of stuff. Whale whistles, wind chimes, flower seeds, stuff you couldn't find in the ocean. I don't really remember it, but the thrill of hiding and finding treasures definitely left an impression on me. Since everything was unknown, I was always kind of excited, you know? You know, I don't think this is how a prince saving the princess scene is supposed to play out. It's me? I was wondering why my mission was to bring the treasure to a neighboring country when I'm the prince here. You're basically asking me to accompany you. <sighs> of course. Watch your hair. The vines are going to get caught on it. The princess and the prince sneak away in the middle of the night. Aren't we just eloping at this point? Dear Prince and Princess, it's not recommended to go down this path. It will end the game too quickly and incur our wrath. It even has a tilde, which is like, kinda cheesy. Maybe it's an Easter egg? It's telling us not to go this way, but maybe it's implying there's a reward if we do. Or, maybe the reward is hidden in the sign. Yeah, let's do it. It 
ignoring this advice means you're out of luck and your lover's fate will suck as a duck. This cutesy sign is freaking scary. I'm still in favor of breaking it though. This game is evil for threatening a person's lover.